so friends i am starting this video with this news this is news from 27th march 2023 essential to lay off 19000 employees now if you see this news from economic times so out of 19000 40% of its 7.38 lakh employees are in india so we don't know how much will be from india but this is what we are seeing okay so welcome to the part 63 if you have not yet subscribed please do so you know it is even more important in the current times that you start your cloud journey not next week not tomorrow not today it is this hour this minute this second you should start it do not wait for a time when uh, things get bad in the industry now many people think hey i am already on a billable project and i am a tester or i am working on mainframe technologies i would not be touched no boss you would be touched first when such scenarios happen nowadays uh, companies know that they want people who are working on niche technologies on modern technologies okay they have that skill or not so that is how usually during layoffs in the recent times we have seen people are asked to leave okay product companies are different product companies if a unit goes away they don't have a business for that product the entire unit is slashed but for services company is purely based on skill not on not only on performance performance is great but skill is the ultimate driving factor so you can click the join button or use the link in the description become a cloud kernel member see how it works is there are a lot of free videos and there are a lot of paid videos you will need to go through both sets in order to uh, increase or bump up your chances of clearing the certification so let us look at this question now so which aws service is fully hosted version control service basically version control is like you you know in the older days we had microsoft visual source safe okay so you can keep checking in your code uh, and if you think the recent changes were bad you still have an option to reverse it go back to the previous version that is advantage so out of these which ones will help you with version control see you can figure out from the name itself uh commit commit means you are uh it's just like a database commit so commit looks logical for version control because you are saying okay i will this is my final change i commit this that means this is my final change okay so that is how you can remember it code build will help you with application development code deploy will help you with the ci cd pipeline automated deployment and so on and code star will quickly develop build and deploy our applications on aws so these three are wrong options code commit is a managed source control service it is highly scalable and uh, it is similar to your git repositories but on the aws world so this would be my final answer so this is the next question which service out of these provides automated backup of data by default okay this is the keyword by default see many services provide uh, backups and automated backups but you will have to ask that service to take that backup okay you will have to configure it and say hey now you should take a backup it does not do by default for example if you ask lebron james what can he do by default like what is his built in nature he will say basketball okay he will never say that i can do a lot of python coding imagine lebron james doing python coding and uh, he is an as developer no that does not happen by default to lebron james so if you see this is aurora and aurora backs up your cluster volume automatically okay this is a continuous incremental service and by default a 30 minute backup window is specified so aurora is my answer anyone can guess why 
Aurora would do that and why not other services? This is the reason because it is having a availability at global scale and high performance. That means what happens in this case is there would never be a data loss. The backup would always be available. And why other services like S3 or uh, Elastic File System, etc., they don't do that? Why? Because imagine so much of data. S3 is meant for object store. You are moving your entire on premises data to S3. And you didn't know that a backup is already scheduled. And every 30 minutes it is taking backup. It creates so much of data. And you end up paying the heavy price for that data storage. Elastic cache for memcache, this is your cache system. This is not backed up by default. This is because the storage in the cache is temporary. So Aurora would be my final answer. So let's look at the next question. See, there is a reporting system and the database is RDS. So suppose this is your reporting system. This is your RDS database. The reports are based on this RDS database. Okay. And these are very IO intensive. And which AWS service can improve the database performance? See report. What does the report do? It reads. Report never writes. Boss, focus. Reports never write. Reports will only read. Now somebody might say, hey, you know what? I did build a report which does a write back. Yeah, write back is possible, but 99% of the time, report is born to read. Sachin Tendulkar is born to play cricket and bat. Okay, Virat Kohli is born to bat, not to ball. Similarly, reports are meant to read. Virat Kohli sometimes can ball. Okay, but he is not a baller. Similarly, reports sometimes can write back. It has that feature, but it is not meant for that purpose. It is meant for reading, reading, reading. Always remember anything that you want to fast track the reads and reduce the database performance you have to use caching okay suppose there is one developer in your team there is so much of load on that developer okay then what you do you have to add one more person so if the database is overloaded what you will have to do you will have to add one more service to reduce that load what is that service that service is cache cache will store the frequently accessed data so the report it will sit here you see this it will sit here 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 so the report will access the data from cache itself it is available here so that will reduce the load on database okay now in this example if you see in these four options okay which ones are cache this dax is a cache and elastic cache is a cache now dax always remember my friend focus again dax is a caching system for dynamo db what is dynamo db it is database on steroids on viagra high performance high performance high performance like uber application uses databases like dynamo db here boss come back to this question come back to this question we are on rds dax does not work on rds uh, elastic cache is meant for that elastic cache comes with two flavors two flavors memcache and redis so a is wrong c is correct now let us look at option b emr emr is all about providing large compute for big data processing okay it will not help you it cannot be that we move the rds database to emr and the reports will perform well okay first thing whatever you had do not go for divorce with your current husband or wife did you try all options to settle before you plug or you click the divorce switch similarly here did you try all options with rds did you performance tuning the queries did you try elastic cache did you try all the options before you switch to emr so this question we will have to try the options to work with rds itself work with the same husband work with the same wife okay so this is wrong and similarly redshift is wrong as well because redshift is saying throw the rds and use redshift okay so that is also a wrong option here first we should try caching 
so this is my final answer please hit the subscribe button if you have not done yet do not wait Accenture has already planned to lay off 19,000 employees their CEO was on a TV channel and confirmed that as well who are they impacting they are impacting non billable corporates they will not do a big bang layoff it will take 18 months to complete this layoff okay so they are saying there is nothing to worry they are trying to do that as a part of you know reducing the fat and there are too many managers too many leaders and they are trying to reduce it okay but this can also be an early warning sign of a coming recession and usually what we have seen when elon musk started the layoff with on uh, with the twitter employees google did that facebook did that okay and it got cascaded to other companies other product companies now it is coming to the services company accenture is a services company so do not wait for that kind of time build a very solid cv on modern technologies hit the subscribe button this channel will help you clear cloud certifications see cloud practitioner is just the first certification okay if you are thinking hey i will do this certification and i will be considered as a high skilled cloud resource no that is not going to happen believe me that will not happen you have to go for a intermediate certifications you have to do multiple certifications four or five of them to establish that credential in your organization okay so start your cloud journey click the join button become a cloud kernel member because the way this channel is structured is there are some free content there are some paid content you need both of them to increase your chances of clearing the certification so do not ignore the paid content see you in the next part